FYI, it is my birthday. Romans Thank you to AE Juice for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. We're gonna click this window. Go to AE Juice Pack Manager 4. Oh, there's so many options. Okay, if I click on paper logo, this is gonna download. And then we get these like, oh, these are so good, yo. And then we get these like logos. And basically, they're kind of like project files. So if you import it, let it load. And then basically, it'll import as a project file. So scale this down, double click this, and then you can change it. This is text. So we can change that to J D F X, and then we're actually gonna scale this down just a little bit. Change the font. Go back. I love this, guys. <laughs> like it's literally like I cannot stress enough. This is a lifesaver. I could show all these real quick, but like the video will be like really, really long. They added some more like things to their free pack. So I suggest buying like all this because it's on sale and it's really, really good. <gasps> I see a jellyfish. Wait, is that a jellyfish? I will definitely be using this in my edits. And they're super high quality. Like, look at that. Okay, guys. So you're gonna press this, the pen tool. And then what we're gonna do is we can create any pattern that we want. I'm just gonna do something like this. Something very random, right? Make sure fill is off. So if it is on, like for example, if this was like on, you could turn it off, press the fill button, turn this off. And then we could change the color if we wanted to. Okay, that's cool. We press this little arrow and then we press add and then we're gonna add trim paths. And then we're gonna go under this and then basically this is gonna pop up and this is gonna control like that. We're gonna turn that to zero. We're gonna press this as a keyframe. We're gonna go forward a few frames, go this way, and then go back a little bit. So past this one, they're gonna press the start one, and they're gonna go forward again, past this one, and they're gonna change that to 100. I need to fix this one really quick, guys. This one is gonna be at 100. Yeah, it should look something like this. Yes! It's basically like a handwritten effect, kind of. If you wanted to make it 3D, you're going to make it 3D, obviously. And then I have Cinema 4D. Just click that. Go under Geometry Options. And then we're going to do the Extrusion Depth, like, up. And then once we rotate this, as you can see, it's 3D. And then we can also add a light. Boom. You may be wondering, how do I make it shiny, like, in 3D logos? Well, you're gonna press Command I or Control I. You're gonna use this overlay, guys. It's called Lobby. Into your timeline. Zoom this out. So press S. Scale that down. Add motion tile, and then you're gonna your edges. Change this to 300. Change this to 300. You can also pre-compose this, and then you can also like paste it. That's what I usually do, but you don't have to. We're gonna right click our picture and we're gonna press environment layer. And then we're gonna go back to your shape layer. And then you're gonna go under material options and then change the reflection intensity high. And then we get the shiny look. Hey! After that, if you want like motion blur, since Cinema 4D doesn't like to do like the motion blur stuff, you can add a new adjustment layer. And then you're gonna add force motion blur <laughs> but anyways i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed for real i hope you learned something new let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe i love you bye